Welcome to this I got an offer BCG potential test video where I will cover everything you need to get started with the BCG potential test. First, I'll briefly discuss why BCG uses a maths and logic test in its recruiting process. And second, I'll look at the format of the BCG potential test in more detail. BCG uses two different formats for its test, so it's important you understand which one you'll be taking. At I Got An Offer, we've helped hundreds of candidates prepare for the BCG potential test, and more than 85% of them have been successful so far. This BCG potential test guide summarizes a lot of what we've learned in the process of doing this, so let's get started. Historically, BCG was only using case interviews to test candidates' maths and logic skills. The firm is still using case interviews today, but in addition, it has also started using a maths and logic test called the BCG Potential Test. This test has got two major advantages over traditional case interviews. First, every candidate takes the same test, and the results are therefore directly comparable. Comparing the performance of two different candidates on two different case interviews that were led by two different interviewers is much more challenging. Effectively, the potential test lets BCG compare candidates apple to apple. Second, it's a cost-effective way to gather objective information about a candidate. In other words, administrating a test is cheaper than having partners at the firm interview a large number of candidates. This is probably also one of the reasons that BCG uses a reasoning test as one of the first steps in its recruiting process. So, now you know why BCG uses the potential test, let's turn our attention to the format of this test. We have helped hundreds of candidates pass this test over the past few years, and they have reported that BCG uses two different versions of this test, an online version and a paper version. The test you'll take depends on which office you're interviewing with. So far, our information shows that most offices use the online version of this test. This includes the US, UK, and most Western European countries. Only Russia and the Czech Republic have reported to use the paper version of the test at the time of recording this video. We regularly update this list of countries, so you should check on igotanoffer.com for the latest information about which of the two tests you are most likely to take. You should also feel free to ask any questions in the comments section of this video. Right, now let's turn our attention to the format of the online test and then the paper one. The first thing you should bear in mind about the online test is that it will be online. Now, this might sound like an obvious detail, but it is very important. Past candidates have told us that this is actually one of the main challenges of the test. All the information you'll be given will be on a computer screen. Going back and forth between the different documents to find information can be very challenging. This is an aspect of the test you'll need to prepare for. The second important point is that the test includes 23 questions to be completed in about 45 minutes. This means that you'll have two minutes to solve each question on average. Now, almost anyone can succeed at the BCG online test with unlimited time, but obviously it's much harder to do so when you only have 45 minutes. One of the objectives of your preparation should therefore be to become extremely fast at answering BCG questions. The third important aspect of the case is that all 23 questions are about the same company. In other words, the test includes one single case. For example, the test might be focused on helping an oil and gas company improve its revenues. As you progress through the case, you'll be given more and more documents. Being able to quickly find the information you need across this growing number of documents will be key to succeed at this test. The fourth important aspect you should bear in mind is the scoring system. As BCG themselves describe, for each right answer you will get plus three points, zero points for no answer and minus one point for a wrong answer. In other words, you can get penalized for picking the wrong answer. This means you should not pick answers randomly if you start running out of time as this will decrease your overall score. Finally, the vast majority of candidates we have worked with were not allowed to use a calculator while taking this test. The only exception was in Greece and Israel. The rule, therefore, does seem to vary. As a consequence, I advise you to contact your local HR connection at BCG to clarify whether you will be allowed to use a calculator or not during your actual test. Let's now turn our attention to the second format of the BCG potential test. As I've mentioned above, so far we only have candidates from Russia and the Czech Republic saying that they had to go through this second type of test. The paper test contains 53 questions to be answered in 50 minutes. The level of difficulty of these questions is similar to the ones in the BCG online test. According to BCG, many people who take the paper test don't manage to answer all questions. In our experience, 53 questions is extremely challenging to answer in just 50 minutes. We think that BCG has added more questions than is manageable to answer in 50 minutes in order to create more variation in candidates' results. In other words, exceptional candidates might manage to answer 45 questions, while average ones will answer only 20. 
This is therefore a good opportunity to set yourself apart against other candidates. It's obviously difficult to do so, but it can be achieved with the right preparation. The third important point about the paper test is that it includes multiple sections, as opposed to the online test which includes only one. Each section contains a short document outlining a business situation. This situation can be about an industry or a company. The information you are provided with mainly comes in the form of text, but in some cases also includes graphs and tables. The fourth important point to bear in mind is that the scoring system used in the paper test varies between sections. In some cases, you get one point for a right answer, in others, you get two points. For some sections, you will also lose half a point per incorrect answer, but that won't always be the case. At the beginning of each section, BCG will specify how the scoring system works. You should therefore pay close attention to that and adapt your strategy from section to section. Finally, the candidates who took this paper test told us that they were not allowed to use a calculator. If this changes in the future, we will be updating our website to reflect the latest information we've got. Okay, that's it for the different formats of the BCG Potential Test. If you have any questions about the BCG Potential Test, don't hesitate to ask them below and our team will answer them. The next thing you should do is watch our video on the different types of questions in the BCG Potential Test. Understanding the different questions you will come across is really the first step in preparing for the test. Right, that's it for today and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.